Hi, my five minutes warning is up. Four minutes. Um, I'm not gonna lie, um, at the first time when I um, got invited to do the lightning talk, I was a little bit disappointed, but it actually can be a benefit because there's less time to worry about that you forget something because obviously I can't cover all what I wanna talk about in four minutes. So I'm really great to be here. I'm Dennis, I work at Geolytics, I'm an engineer, and I work on the XYZ map project, which is XYZ is like a serverless cloud function, Node.js, and map is the library, and I wanna talk about the front-end experience. So why are we here? Um, we are close to releasing version four of the map library, and the primary target for this is um, developer experience and integration in the open source community. Um, Jamstack, um, I have to admit it's a bit of a clickbait topic. It basically just means JavaScript API markup. It's, um, it happens in the client, in the browser. And um, I promise there will be vanilla JavaScript, um, vanilla JavaScript because um, I made a transition from Python to JavaScript a couple of years ago and absolutely love it because as a full stack developer, it allows me to work Node.js in the back end as well as in the front end. And I'm firmly believing in no, no code and um, no frameworks. But that being said, I know a lot of you love frameworks and that's the idea. You can bring your own framework if you have one. Um, you can just import it. So. What's great about JavaScript? Well, first of all, as you can see in the uh, browser support, metrics from MDN, which I pulled last night because um, when I looked at the same metrics two days ago, Internet Explorer was still included and MDN changed that two days ago because no more Internet Explorer. We at Geolytics and on my pro uh, project, I never supported Internet Explorer and um, mainly because I really love the new features. First introduced in ES6 and later in ES2020, there's some really cool stuff. So I said uh, software composition. So with composition, I mean, um, read Eric Elliott, that's too much to go into detail right here. But there's really cool stuff such as function composition and it's a one-liner. You don't need a framework like Ramda or like Lodash. Um, you can just do it in the browser straight away. Other really cool stuff is uh, proxies, proxy objects. It helped us a lot when we separated the user interface and um, the library which um, handles the map view, the open layers map view. Um, what it mainly means before we worked with events and what we only had available were events on the map view, the open layers map target or on the document. Now it's not very good to listen to events on the, on the document. And so we changed to proxy objects which became available, which means if you import a library and you already have an object or already in proxy, you can just add methods to the getter, the setter, the delete property. Uh, and it works really great. And the other thing is dynamic imports. So dynamic imports allows us to ship a really small bundle. It's about 50 kilobyte, more or less. And you can import any other library which you might need. So for example, some of our clients require turf, so they can just import turf when it's needed. Um, other libraries which we like and use is tabulator or chart.js. And the same with open layers. Um, Open layers render has improved massively, but we know there are other libraries such as uh, Mapbox GL, MapLibre GL, or even Google Maps, uh, which we use for the base map. Um, obviously, we also completely love MapTiler for our base maps, and uh, my t-shirt size is a uh, medium to large, and um, I would prefer the green one. Um, right, since I'm aware that the time's running out here, so I'll just show you an image how it looks like. So here we, um, we plug into the open layers draw interaction. And so what we wanted to do, the open layers draw interaction is a synchronous process. And sorry, 
we're drawing a line and we're importing the map box and the here routing API. And as you draw the line, four routes, walking and um, car is all coming on straight away. That can be put in a plugin, which we did for our clients commonplace. And um, you can have all the functionality and styling and it all happens in the browser. Right, since my time is already up, um, I have a much, much longer article about this, and the best way to follow this is my Twitter handle, dbousers. Obviously, please check our website, geolytics.com, and our geolytics Twitter handle. Please star our project, the XYZ project, where Map Library is part of it, and um, see me later for an in depth talk. And please come to Phosphor G UK 2022, which is happening on the 17th of November in multiple places in the UK. I will be either in the London or Leeds. Thank you, Dennis. We are moving to James without any questions. <laughs>